I was asked to do a cane similar to the ones I did in my extruder canes tutorial for someone who does not have or cannot use an extruder. So here we go. start with making a Skinner blend. I will use white, alizarin crimson and black Primo clay. After passing with a roller over the clay, I will pass it through the pasta machine a few times. Then I fan fold it with great care to keep the color line straight. After which I use my roller to get it thin enough to go through the pasta machine. I will first put it through the thickest setting, then gradually go thinner to about a medium thin, a 6 on a makings machine. Then just to get the Skinner blend faster, I am rolling the strip with great care to keep the line on line going right. Then a few more rolling, cutting and stacking. At this point I am not very happy with the way my Skinner blend came up. So I will be adding a couple of extra colors, cadmium yellow between the alizarin crimson and the white. and a strip of cadmium red in the middle of the alizarin crimson. After which I continue getting the Skinner Blend gradient the same way. When I am done, I pass the gradient through the pasta machine rotated 90 degrees. The clay, not the pasta machine. The resulting sheet I will cut and stack so that I can pass it through the pasta machine again in length in order to obtain a long strip of gradient.
strip I am cutting in equal segments, then stack the segments in order, one on top of the other. I will be consolidating my stack. After consolidating, I am slicing my stack in about 2 mm thick slices. After which I am reconstituting the stack, placing the slices this time in a random order. I'm consolidating my stack again and will be repeating the process two more times. The goal is to obtain a very defined ikat effect. After which I will reduce the stack in length so that I can cut it into segments and then put the segments together so that the ikat effect gets more and more defined than with thinner lines. Then I will be consolidating the stack until I get a 2 inch by 2 inch square.
Using a circle cutter, I'm cutting the stack as shown. Next, I will be flipping the sides so now the light side of the sides correspond to the dark side of the center and vice versa. After which I am consolidating the stack then start cane reducing until I get it to about 3 inches long. Now let's see what we can do with it. First pattern. I will be cutting one segment of one inch from my original cane. This first third of the cane, I'm going to first wrap it. Using a white sheet of clay on the thinnest manageable setting over a black sheet of clay on the thinnest manageable setting, then passing them through together in the machine on the same thinnest manageable setting. Thus, I obtain a thin bicolored wrap. I wrap the cane with the black side inside and the white side facing outwards. reducing this cane to about a quarter of an inch width. I recommend using tiny Pandora square pairs as it makes the reducing much simpler. Uh, you might have at one point to cut your cane in two so you can reduce easier as it gets way longer than the square pairs. You need to end up with 16 pieces that are each 3 quarters of an inch long. which you will start assembling your pieces together making sure the leaves are always facing another direction than the ones around them. I suggest putting them together four at a time using the same order in each. So start the first row with the dark side of the leaf up, second segment facing left, third segment facing down, fourth segment facing right, counterclockwise. Then start the second row with the first segment dark side of the leaf facing left, then down, then right, then up. 
third row, first segment facing down, then right, then up, then left. Fourth row, first segment facing right, then up, then left, then down. Then put your rows together with care again that the leaves are in a different direction to form a square with a four segment side and consolidate your square cane. Second pattern. I first reduce the remaining cane again to 3 inches long. I will first cut a piece of 1 inch length from this new reduction and reduce it to 7 inches length. Then I will be pinching the sides that are at the ends of the leaf on both sides of the cane, obtaining thus an 8 inch long oval section cane. Then I will be cutting this cane in 8 1 inch segments because it gets longer after you pinch it. After which I will prepare a small snake of about 3 16 of an inch in diameter using white clay. Then cut another inch of the remaining 2 inch long original cane reduce it but this time pinch together only the side that has the darker end of the leaf and the lighter end of the background. Now time to put a round cane together. The first row of petals consists of segments of the oval reduced cane with the light side inside, the light point inside. In between the dark tops of these petals, place the triangular petals also with the light side facing inwards. 
I suggest you do them in groups of three first, two oval petals with one triangular petal between the tops of them, then put them together with a white snake in the middle. The third pattern will actually be simply pinching the last inch of the original cane to obtain the same slice type as in the previous pattern, only on a larger scale. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create a couple of pieces using these canes. <music> 